hello everyone welcome back this is Carson Cloud so in this video I'm going to create an Office 365 Pro Plus package for the installation of shared devices so if you have devices that are shared in your environment you need to install a special um, uh, configuration for those devices it's not the same thing as the regular um, assigned devices so what you're going to need to do is download the office deployment toolkit all you have to do is just go into google type in office 365 odt and then um, you should be able to download this one here download office deployment toolkit once you click on that it takes you to this link here Click on download. As you can see, I have downloaded. Once you download it, it should um, you should be able to run it. Oops. Let's see. Go to. So just double click on it or extract it. Once you extract, it's automatically um, create a setup.exe and these three files. Let's also include the um, Office 2019. So I have this configuration file that I created. Let's open it up. So what it does, it's going to install the 32-bit default channel. It's Office 365 Retail. It's English version. It's going to install just one language. The display level is none, so it's almost silent. Setup reboot value auto if needed. The uh, property name for auto activate. It's <coughs> its uh, value is one. <coughs> That means it's going to automatically activate it when the user um, enter their credential. This is the most important share computer licensing. You want to make sure you have this line here in there for any computer that are shared devices. So the value should be one. And then the log file where you want to store the, uh, the log files remove msi this is where remove any version of msi that's include uh, visio projects office 2010 2013 office 20 um 2016 so anything related to msi it's going to um remove so let's download the file or the contents of the office 365 so what I need to do is um, just type in setup.exe slash download. And then the name of the config file. It should create a folder here under ODT. So let's go back to ODT. Let's create an office folder. This is where the contents will be stored. So the download will take about, I would say, maybe five to ten minutes. It depends on your network. From for now, I'm just going to pause the video and we'll come back and continue. All right, looks like the download has been completed. Now I'm going to copy the files. I'm going to put in my um, repository 
in my configuration or SCCM um, repository folder. I'm going to call this Office 365. This is February. I'm just going to Feb 2019. I'm going to paste it here. Oops, I thought I copied that. All right, let's copy everything. And then paste it here. Let's create a SSCM package. Go to application management, packages, create new package, call it office. 365 Pro Plus, put it in the path, okay, click next, install programs, I'm going to call it install office 365. The command line is going to be setup.exe slash config configured and then the name of my config file. So that should be this one normal whether or not the user is logged on I'm going to click next should only take 30 minutes I'm going to put in 60 minutes next and close now I'm going to distribute the contents distribute content to my DP click next click next and I'm going to deploy it as available all desktop and servers click next make it available so that way I can manually install from software center click next next and next so now look at my let's take a look at my test box um, I should have I should have Office 20, 2010 installed. It's programs and features. This Office 2010. I'm going to install Visio or maybe um, Projects 2010 also. Once it's finished, I'm going to come back and we'll continue. I'm going to pause the video for now. All right, look like. Um, project has been installed. Let's go to programs and features. So I have Office 2010 and Projects 2010 installed. Let's go ahead and install the Office Pro Plus 365 from Software Center.
it is office pro plus office 365 pro plus so this package should in should remove all the um the msi version of office let's go ahead and click on install it's downloading the contents so the content should be saved to C Windows Cache There it is It's going to take a while to um, download and install I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back All right, look like it it is downloading and it is installing. Let's go look at the contents. Oops, let's go back. Let's Google. So, look like it it is still downloading. Office 2010 is still there. Let it finish and welcome back when it's um, when it's done. I'm gonna pause the video. All right, it looks like it is 65% completed. So it's still downloading the contents. All right, look like the Office 365 has been installed. Let's go and check in the um, in the control panel. Programs and features. There's Office 365, and I don't see Office Professional 2010 or um, what's the other one? Project. Yep, and I don't see project on the machine as well. So, so the um, the command line remove the Office 2010 automatically, and also the let's go back to um, my SCCM here. So it's also installed on the shared computer or shared device. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to put your question in the comment section and I'd be glad to try to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and have a good day.